Hi friends, welcome to Arc Tutorials. This is continuation of data binding in Angular and we are covering event binding in this tutorial. In the previous tutorials, we have covered what is data binding, we have covered interpolation, we have covered property binding, and now in this tutorial, we will learn about event binding. Event binding is nothing but associating events to the elements and then processing those functions or methods in the controller. We'll see that in details when we get to practical. But before we jump in, I request you friends to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting me. Also, if you have any queries, any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section and I will be happy to help you. Let's get started with event binding. So in the previous tutorial, we learned about interpolation, we learned about property binding. Now in this tutorial, let's learn about event binding. Now I will use multiple examples here. First I'll throw in a simple link and I'll say calculate tax. Right? And the next is input I will have type equal to text and step so in this when we on blur event we should be able to show them the red background and say that it is a required field so I'm going to work with these two examples but let's first see how it looks in the UI simple a link and a text you want to style it better you can just give a um, no, I can paragraph and say all right so here I have just thrown in a paragraph so it's a next line and then I have a link so first to associate any event remember we need to put it in this bracket round bracket right so here you define the event name now that event can be your these events are your JavaScript events it can be anything. It can be key up, key down, click, blur, focus, right? Uh, mouse over, mouse out, hover, all those JavaScript events can be written inside this bracket anywhere to any element, right? So for I will show you that, but for now, let's start with on click. So on click, I'm saying we need to call a method and we'll call it calculate beautiful so far so good we have any we have a link we have associated a click event but it won't do anything just yet because we haven't we haven't told it what to do so we have to define the calculate method so let's go to our component class and define that method so now I'm saying instead of ng on in it, I'm saying this in the a plus b equal to c. So I'm I have two variables in my component. I have variable a and variable b which has some values 10, 20, and in the event calculate, I'm saying update the value to 30. So let's see. So initial value is zero so that is what we have our initial value as c equal to zero that is what is shown here now when we click on calculate tax it will come here since we have binded it you can see here we have done the event binding and now we when we click on it it becomes 30. so that is how we have binded our first event binding event which is click now let's use one more example now I'm saying on focus update style. So here all I'm saying is when it's on focus update style. So let's define that method. So we need to get that element but for that we need to pass that. But this is a little complex I'll not go there let's say I'm just going to stick to something simple to make you understand how do you play with it. So let's say I'm going to use one more method. Calculate two. Now 
event binding with parameters right so here I'm passing some numbers some numbers and I'll say calculator 2 so let's define this method calculate 2 it will take two parameters a comma B it's a good practice always to define the data type so here I can say number and here I can say number and then I will say this dot C is equal to a plus B right the scope is again local so this will add only these two and not these variables which are global to this class let's see this now I have calculate when I click it shows 30 because I have 10 and 20 here now similarly now I'm passing dynamic values to through using event binding now let's see the output when I click on this the values addition of those two so you can define a event and also pass parameters to it now in more complex cases you'll use form you'll have data you'll have validation we'll cover that in next part but this is to get you started now just one last example on this you can have multiple events say mouse over highlight calling it highlight so let's define this method So I'm saying so you can pass the element we used to pass for now I'm going to decorate all the links so I'm going to create a variable here we already have a variable uh, let's create one and I'm going to call it background color equal to teal right so this has to be in single quotes all right so i am going to set this dot bg color equal to say light blue or light green so i have set a val variable and i'm going to use this here and do you can see here now we are doing along with event binding I am now doing property binding of ng style is equal to and I'm going to put it in single quotes background color is equal to the variable name now you remember this will not work because this is not a string it has to be variable so now you see now similarly on mouse so you throw in another method and reset it back color is equal to this dot pg color or give for now you can use a conditional but I'm just throwing in a value to explain you all right so let's see this in action see this so this is on mouse over and mouse out along with event click we have mouse over mouse out event we also have a property binding with that so this is how you start clubbing multiple events multiple binding property to the elements you can bind anything to any element it can be a div it can be a image anything so that's up to you so your exercise is to create a div or create a image and on mouse over put a border to this right so that's your homework all right and if you have any difficulty put it in the comment section i will be happy to help you in the next tutorial i'll bring you complex event binding which is two-way data binding we'll pass data along with events 
and we'll try and process the elements using two-way data binding. Stay tuned for more tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.